Channel East Lenny Supal in St. Petersburg. A lot of prep work underway there tonight, Lenny. Yes, underway tonight and into tomorrow. Residents lining their homes with sandbags to keep water from seeping through. We also saw the city hand out free sandbags today and also deliver sandbags to homes in some of the hard hit areas. They are preparing for what could be the third round of significant flooding within six months. Tonight, a collective sigh among neighbors in St. Pete's Shore Acres community, growing weary as they prepare for another storm. This has been a lot of storms in a row. We've never had things like this happen before where it's been one after another so frequently. Sandbags in high demand across Pinellas County and here in St. Pete, a line of cars rolling through Mangrove Bay Golf Course. Lydia Cuts, no stranger to Mother Nature's wrath, her home still in disrepair after what Hurricane Idalia left behind in August. This scene shows her trudging through the flood water that seeped into her home. Then in December, more items lost when they were hit by another storm. It's been stressful. We got about nine inches of water in our house during the hurricane. And then last week there was a small storm and we just escaped the water was like this close to our front door. Lisa Chadwick and her husband staying patient while rebuilding their home after Adalia. Get a little fatigued dealing with the insurance companies. Now many of their neighbors choosing to raise their home to avoid the floodwaters altogether. An expensive option, but the Chadwicks now considering the cost. I'd rather raise the house than move. Absolutely. So the Shore Acres community is staying so strong tonight, and we heard several stories today about neighbors helping neighbors through all the flooding they've endured during the fall and winter months. And we also hear about how they look out for one another, especially when it comes to finding contractors they can trust. Reporting live in St. Petersburg, Lenny Supal, 8 on your side. Thank you, Lenny.